Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia Alexi and I make GBS related content and just stuff about me. Uh, so stick around for the rest of the video. So as per the title of this video, I am three months out from my initial diagnosis of GBS. I was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome officially on September 19th, 2019 of this year. Check out my GBS experience video to find out more about the diagnosis and how I arrived to that. Um, so this is basically an update with GBS, things that if you've stuck around for any of my previous videos, you know how difficult it is with mobili mobility, mobility, and just getting around in general. Um, with GBS, it primarily affected my lower body, as I have stated before in previous videos, check them out, um, but I want to say officially that my legs have been getting stronger ever since I've been hospitalized and then discharged from the hospital. Um, the way that looks for me as of right now, um, in the beginning once I was discharged from the hospital, I mostly was getting around via my wheelchair. Check out my mobility aids video about how I get around and my walker, um, both inside my house and outside. Now, primarily inside the house, I walk without any kind of mobility aid a couple of months or maybe a month and a half back. Uh, there was a video I posted about me walking, taking my first steps without using any kind of aid with this, with me walking beside my in-home PT health worker, physical therapist. Then I was very unsure and I was like, please don't fall. As of right now, um, I can walk around my doing so soon after three months post the diagnosis and so I am very 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 much happy about that another thing that I can do that previously previously before um, three months back and then just the early initial symptoms is that I can get up from my chair and the couch more easily, more easily now than I could before. Before, if anything was low and didn't really have any leverage, um, it took several attempts to get up from in any seating area and it just made things more difficult. Now I can get up from my couch uh, without having to think too much about it. Now as far as my hands, because throughout this journey, I would say the most difficult thing I've had as far as recovery and making, getting things back to the way they semi was in the past was the use of my hands, baby. And it might be small and just like stupid to other people, but a couple of weeks back and what I was show you now, I can open a bottle of Gatorade. Yay. Um, 
that to me has been tantamount and is a huge accomplish to me personally because um, I couldn't do that for myself before I would have to get family members to open a bottle of Gatorade for me or just a bottle of water for me because my hands couldn't really grip it and twist and turn like they ought to. I have, with the assistance of occupational therapy and doing the proper exercises, have been able to success successfully, successfully been able to do things like put on my makeup, um, and attempt to look stylish. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but on like eyeliner the way I want to but that's something I can work towards okay so that is a little bit of a three month update for this video um, stick around I plan to do more update videos periodically my next one will be like six month a six month update video um, from my diagnosis, so I am looking forward to seeing my progress from today and then three months from now, which will be March 19th. Um, so that's something to look forward to, and I hope you guys stick around to see that. So please like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, please hit the notification bell, come back next week, and I hope to see you around.